Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some more car builds. Uh, we made this last episode. It is a Dodge Dart um, Super Hemi or something like that. Um, very nice car. Uh, pretty much a muscle car and it drifts absolutely amazing. It's, it's quite fast in transitions, but really surprises me about a car of this size. So, on to the things I want to say first. Um, obviously, on this video, leave a comment with what car you want to see next episode because it's up to you guys. The most voted up comment will get mentioned, so that is going to be that. Um, choose whatever car you want, and if you want a certain style with that car, um, do that. So, what I am going to say, I have a giveaway on my channel, so if you go back through my videos, you'll be able to see a giveaway on there. Um, do check that out. Um, I'm giving away a graphics card, and I'm also giving away Xbox Live. 13 month membership so enter those you've all got a chance it's completely done at random um, so I won't be picking people I won't be biased um, so it'll be just completely random and you've got to have luck basically so that'll be fun um, can't wait for that to end I think it's ending midnight tonight so you've got to get in pretty quick there um, but that's that and um, the top rated comment on my last video it was actually a, a Vauxhall Colton V8 Chav style um, basically in the auto show, there is no Vauxhall V8, so it's kind of annoying. Um, no, Vauxhall Colton, should I say? <laughs> Sorry, I just wasn't thinking. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking. So if I just scroll to Vauxhall, um, I can show you guys that there's quite literally no card there. Um, unless they got Opal on here. Have they got Opal? No. Because uh, obviously, sister company to uh, Vauxhall is Opal, so. See, look, Voxel, they've only got two Voxels on this game. So, unfortunately, there's no Voxel Colton on the game. Um, so, the second highest rated comment was from Ismail El Balkari. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, but he says, in this, I'm 300ZX. So, uh, very nice car. Very nice car. Hopefully, it's on the game. <laughs> is it on the game, please? No, please. <laughs> please! Yeah, there it is. Um, so it's the old, old, old 350Z. Well, even though it's not a 350Z. I don't even know why I said that. My brain. Sorry, I'm not even thinking today. My head is just not there. Um, we're getting worse throughout these car builds. I started off doing like really good facts in like my first car builds. And slowly my head has just not been here. <laughs> it's just disappearing. Um, let's have a look and see if there's any nice paints in here. Uh... All pretty rubbish, to be fair. Uh, but what we could do, we don't really do this, to be honest. So let's have a search. Um, should we do keyword? And let's do... Is there drift? There's no drift. Really? Uh, so let's do description and just type in uh, drift. And hopefully there'll be some nice paints. Um, coming up, hopefully. Hopefully, please. Please! Okay. What have we got around here, then? Is there any nice ones? That's not too bad. Uh, what else is there though? Oh, I like this. I like that a lot. Let's go. Let's do it. It's got the Japanese letters on it. I don't even know what's wrong with me today. I, I can't think. My brain. My brain is just not there at all. Oh my god. It's like someone has stole my brain and installed uh, like engine or something that it just can't stop just can't stop thinking about stuff that I don't even have to think about so that is the car that is the paint um, it's gonna look a lot better once we start upgrading obviously at the moment it looks a little bit weird uh, but with some nice rims on there and with uh, race suspension it's gonna look absolutely sick so we could put the RB in it um, RB from the skyline um, could be a good option here um, or we could stick with a stock powertrain, um, which I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with a stock engine. Um, I do like the Fair Lady Z engine, so... Yeah, I didn't really look into this car to be, um, before I started this video, to be honest. Um, I don't know if it runs a VQ, because obviously um, a lot of Fair Ladies, like the new Fair Ladies, they all run VQs. So I don't know about this one. Um, I'm going to go with a Stillen front bumper. Looks quite clean. Uh, but yeah, if anyone knows about um, if it has, um, let's go for the big wing. Oh no, because that's a Forza wing. Ugh. 
Okay, let's stick with the stock wing. Uh, if anyone knows if this card does have a VQ, or, or just let me know what engine this does have, because I didn't really look into it. I should have done. Uh, I do apologise for that. Uh, but I prefer this first bumper here. This one, the Do Luck bumper. That looks very nice. Looks kind of mean from the back. So let's put that on. Um, side skirts. Let's just go with the Wings West. It looks very clean compared to all the other ones. Um, and the bonnet. Let's not go for the bonnet. Let's just stick with the stock bonnet. So that is the visual upgrades. You can choose whatever upgrades you want to choose, to be honest. Um, this is just a quick run through. Uh, maybe I wouldn't choose these if I wasn't doing a video, but doing a video, I'm trying to make it different every single time. Um, don't normally do body kits, so it's really different already. So I do like those um, hubcaps. You know, like the caps that go over the center of your wheel. I forgot what they're called. Um, I, I don't even know why I call them hubcaps. Like hubcaps go over the whole wheel. I, I, I don't even know whatever they're called. The center thingy. <laughs> oh god, my brain. Sorry, I'm so sorry for my brain today. Alright, upgraded tire width in the rear. Uh, up to 275s. Um, rims. What suit this car? They do. Let's go for them. Let's just jump in and go for it. ZR 520s. Um, you can choose whatever wheels you want, obviously. You don't have to go with what I choose. Um, I'm going to go with 17 inch rims on this. I don't want to go all out, balls out. But, do you know what? Let's go up to 18. Let's go 18 inch rims on here. I'm going to change the front up to 18 as well. There we go. So that is on the roll. Um, onto the drivetrain. Everything in here is going to be racy, racy, racy. So just run through that yourself. Uh, just put everything in here, race. Uh, but in terms of this car, the paint is growing on me by the second. And when we get that race suspension, it's going to help the look so much. It's going to bring those wheels and the paint together. Because at the moment, it just feels like there's too much arch gap in this beach. I don't even know why this beach. <laughs> I just came out. <laughs> I'm getting worse. I'm, I apologise, guys. I apologise. So, race brakes, uh, race suspension. There we go. We've brought the car down. That looks so much better. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the orange wheels are kind of growing on me. Um, I don't know if they should be orange or not, but I can't change it now. I've chose the paint. I've gone all in. Yeah, all in. <laughs> so let's put the roll cage on here. Basically, everything in here is race as well. So if you didn't catch any of this, go through and chuck everything race on there. Uh, so that's the weight reduction done. And now onto the engine. Uh, what weight was this? 1,200 kilos for about 400 to 450 horsepower. Should be one sheet build be plenty. Yeah, I just kind of spat that out, you know. Took a while, but it got out. <laughs> one sheet be plenty. Five hundred horsepower be plenty. No, four hundred horsepower be plenty. <laughs> yeah, four hundred. So let's go. Let's go four hundred plus. Uh, if we go over, it'll be fine. Uh, so it's got a twin turbo, a stock. Uh, three eight five horsepower. We're pushing it up slowly. All we're calling that should help. 394 horsepower. Let's just chuck on the flywheel. Um, doesn't benefit one little bit, so let's just lose that weight. Extra little bit of weight, yeah. So that's that. Uh, fuel systems. Let's just chuck that on. 413 horsepower. I think that's going to be about gravy, so that's all the upgrades on. I'm going to jump out into free roam right now. We can start sliding this car. Um, I can't really remember having one of these cars on the old Forzas, and it is raining. Always has to rain on this game, so. Oh, fuck. Crashed already. Like, come on. Come on, bruh. Very long gears. Oh, my days. So, the first thing, I'm changing the gears. I'm sorry. That was just immensely long. You just longed out my life trying to change gear. Uh, so, let's go very short here. Let's go to about 4.3. That should be about, about gravy. Um, let's just drift around this area. Let's do it. So we're sideways. Obviously it's in the rain so it's a little bit slidier than normal. It does feel very grippy in the rear. Uh, but yeah, my controller's just turned off so I've lost all sound. So I do apologise um, if I suck here because I can't hear the sound. The sound is probably the 
most unrecognized thing that you need to have. Like, without car sound, I suck. Like, I don't know if it's the same with anyone else. Um, I just need car sound. I need to hear the engine. Fuck's sake! This is just sucking balls right now. So, far too grippy. So, let's just jump in. Um, I was going to give it a couple of runs to see what I think, but it's far too grippy even in the rain. So let's go up in tyre pressures. I don't normally go up in tyre pressures, but I think it's going to need it. Um, front seems about fine. We'll leave that for now. Um, gearing seems a lot better. Um, camber we're going to need a lot more. Uh, let's go 1.4 in the front and let's go up to about... Let's go 2.8 in the front. and 2.8 in the rear, sorry. <laughs> 1.8 in the front. Uh, see what that's saying. 5.5... Uh, uh, let's just take up the rear anti-roll belts a tiny bit. Springs pretty, st uh, pretty stiff, but I could have it stiffer. Let's just go up softer in the rear, obviously, and ride height all the way to the bottom. Damping, that's pretty sick. Uh, bump stiffness can come down a tiny bit. That's about that. Differential, we could go 100%, 100%. Hopefully, that'll get the tires spinning a little bit easier. So that's pretty, pretty much. A very bass tune there. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna keep saying okay, okay. Why did I break? I just braked. It's got. A, it feels like it just has a lack of. Mm. Like it needs some sort of some sort of oomph. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes sense to people. I'm just gonna I've gotta change the gear and I've I've gotta make it shorter. There just doesn't seem to be any acceleration in this engine whatsoever. And so they just shorten this up some more. Uh tires seem fine. Alignment we could go more camber in the rear, three point two. Just do a tiny bit more in the in the front to counteract. Um, let's try that. So obviously it is raining as well, so it's going to be a little bit less stability than normal. But One of Horizon's top drivers is nearby. I've marked their position on your GPS. There we go. It's feeling a lot better. It feels like the engine's got a little bit of acceleration back. Kind of what we needed. And hopefully through this tight corner it doesn't bog down either, and it doesn't, so I think I've got the gearing on point right now. Um, tires seem fine. Um, obviously it is raining at the moment, so I can't really judge the stability that much. Um, obviously I want it to stop raining, so I can kind of judge the stability, but obviously if the rain just keeps going and going, I'm going to have to probably stick with what we've got, but it's feeling okay. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say right now. It's okay. Um, I, I've got down the tire pressures in the front. This far, too, it's just drifting. Ugh. The front just still feels far too floaty. So let's just take the camber. Uh, yeah, the camber and the tire pressures down. It just feels far too floaty. It's just not digging in at all. Um, so let's just take the camber down on the front a tiny bit as well. Should help. I thought I could make it round them then. Alright, so it didn't bog down after just pretty much coming to a standstill. So that's pretty sick. Okay, that was, that was quite good through there. I think with this car, you just got to be brave. You've got to throw it into the transitions. Because obviously, it's not a known drift car. Um, a lot of people do drift it in real life. But in terms of the game, etc., it's not a, it's not a well-known drift car. Like, if you pull this out, there won't be many people with this car on the game. Um, so you'll probably be alone in terms of having this car. But it's, it's a weird car. I can't really... I can't really put net, uh, like a finger on the point that's not feeling right, but there's something about this card that isn't, isn't feeling right.
I think it's more to do with the engine, this one. Um, maybe putting the RB in this car would have been a lot better um, decision. But the engines... Uh, it feels like I need a little bit more power in this engine. So if you guys do make this build, I do recommend you just chuck on a few more upgrades. Not too much power, just that little bit more power that can help us here. Because it just feels like that the engine is just lagging. Just, just lagging that extra little bit that it... Kind of wouldn't have done if we had that extra kind of let's say 30 40 horsepower um but it's still a very nice car it's still pulling itself around these corners very well um you just got to be brave with it you got to go in with like what the hell i just had sparks flying off this car then that was mad uh, but yeah it does feel very nice it feels very stable the rain doesn't seem to be stopping so i can't really check out the stable when it's in the dry get out of my way Thank you. Uh, you got to be brave. you got to go in with a lot more angle, which I'm not really doing at the moment because obviously it is raining, so I'm not not trying to throw it in like that because it's not holding. Um, maybe in the dry it would hold a lot better. Um, obviously, I have a terrible wheel where the handbrake is the B button and the B button spinning around as I'm trying to touch the handbrake and stuff. So this car does need a lot of handbrake. Uh, trying to get that rear out. Uh, but obviously if you put a little bit more power in it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. But there's enough power in this version. There's far... There's one sheepy plenty. Like, there's there's enough. <laughs> there's, enough <laughs> there's enough in this car. <laughs> one sheepy plenty. I don't even know why that makes me laugh. But it does. Okay. Um, so it is drying up. We could wait. See if this car's fine. Oh god, that curb just ate me. Um, but we do need a couple of changes, I'm not going to lie. I, I can't really put my finger on it though. Uh, maybe just a tiny bit more grip to be fair. I know it's kind of counteracting it, but we've got a lot of camber. But I think the camber and the fact that we've got higher tyre pressures, I think it's just kind of rubbing off on each other. So Just down the camber a tiny bit. Um, differential is 100-100. I was just making sure I changed that. Um, but yeah, I just think it's I think it's more a lack of power than anything else. So let's try and slide this now. It's getting dry. Uh, we can try and try and throw the car in a little bit more. So it's still spinning up in gear three. So those little changes probably didn't make the biggest difference. But in terms of. Uh, Oh my god, that was my fault. Don't don't blame the car there. That was me. So you got to be more active with this car. That's one thing I'm finding out about this car. I got to be more active on the wheel compared to like my last build on the the Dodge Dart and my Dodge Charger, etc. I got to be so much more active on the wheel, trying to get this car sideways. Um, maybe this car isn't made for these long long corners. Uh, maybe for like a tighter section uh, should be should be plenty oh god so yeah let's just give it a bit of a freestyle around uh, we can't just keep doing the same section see if this car works in better um, tighter corners around here uh, which I think it will do um, it is drifting very well to be fair I don't know where those sparks keep coming from the sparks keep coming out of this car and I, I don't even know where Okay, but yeah, it's, it's feeling uh, it's feeling fine. I'm um, obviously not the best car ever. Um, if I had a little bit more power, I could have made it a lot better than it is right now. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it at this power. It's not a struggle. Um, if I go onto some smaller sections, I might swap into this car, etc. But it does have the power to do those longer sections. Maybe on maybe on the on the controller, it might be a little bit easier to spin up the tires, etc. But well, on the wheel, it's it's a more of a challenge, and I kind of like that. I like the aspect that this car is a challenge, because uh, having cars that are too easy to drift, etc., gets a little bit boring. So, having a car like this is a bit more of a struggle. I kind of like that. I don't know. Kind of like it. So, I'm going to leave this tune here. Uh, what I am going to do with this tune, I am going to chuck this up onto 
the storefront for you guys to download. Uh, but if you do want to make this yourselves, I do recommend putting in a tiny bit more power. Unless you want to try this out, see if you're struggling like me to get this sideways. Uh, maybe it's just me having an off day, etc. Um, so yeah, I'm going to upload this. I'm going to call it, just. I'm just going to save it as Drift. Um, so if you go into the storefront, just search for Gamertag, which is the same as my YouTube, Kevin Toll, and you'll be able to find it. So I'm going to put it up as Drift and best for handling and share that. So it's up on the storefront if you want to go download it. Fun car, um, not my best car, not going to lie, uh, but it's a fun car overall. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.